Question 11. How robust is Google Glass? Answer, Google Glass are lightweight and extremely robust. They come with adjustable nose pads in different sizes for added comfort and security. Whether they would put up with the worst excesses of your dog or your toddler's attentions remains to be seen, but Google's publicity suggests that they will certainly put up with day-to-day -day wear and tear whilst being light and comfortable to use. Question 12. What is Project Glass? Answer. The Project Glass team at Google is the engineers, developers, programmers and all-round geniuses responsible for the design and development of Google Glass technology, part of the so-called secretive Google X team. Question 13. What about navigation apps? Answer. Google Glass can offer directions, find businesses, addresses, you say the name of the business you want to travel to, or the address you want, and Google Glass will show you the way. Using a blue line superimposed and scrolling over a map, it is possible to pair your Google Glass with your smartphone. Both Android and iPhone are supported, but developers testing Glass report that using Android is far simpler and more successful. Using this option you can choose to use the Maps app on your phone, but choose to have the map showing on your glass rather than the phone. You can choose whether you want to use a car, bike or go on foot and the routes will be amended accordingly, just like it does on your phone. Currently, bloggers like Tim Stevens report that the glass isn't responding fully to head movements, but with the technology on board this can only be a matter of time. Question 14. Why did Google create Google Glass? Answer. Google Glass was developed with the idea that rather than us all walking around with our heads down fiddling with our phones, Google Glass would be a way of incorporating technology into our everyday lives and removing the block on communication that can be put in place with mobiles. Numerous studies have shown that mobile phones, tablets and other pieces of tech which involve looking downwards block communication and make the other party in a conversation feel cut off. If you take out your phone you are suggesting that you're not really that interested in what's being said. It's a way of closing the conversation Google Glass gets around that problem. When you use Google Glass you are looking up, you're facing the world, not looking down. Sergey Brin discussed at TED 2013 how Google felt that smartphones are, in some ways, emasculating, that they hold us back. But Google Glass helps us to look outward and enables better communication and interaction. Question 15. Can I develop my own application in Google Glass? Answer. Yes, Google is actively encouraging developers to work on apps for Google Glass. One of the primary purposes of the beta testing and the release of Explorers to developers has been to show developers what Google Glass can do, and to enable them to begin developing purpose-built applications. Google is hoping that there will, very rapidly, be a huge development in Glass applications. This is going to be important as the suggestion is that current Android apps won't work with Glass. Question 16. Is Google Glass a new name for Google Googles? Answer. No. Google Goggles is an app developed by Google using visual search techniques to identify locations and buildings and isn't related in any way to Google Glass. Question 17. What applications are envisaged? Answer. The range of applications which are currently envisaged are only the tip of the iceberg of what might be possible. If Google lives up to its promises then Glass will offer a means of seamlessly integrating your life and your tech. The augmented reality of Glass aiding and abetting your every move, whether Glass can live up to that remains to be seen and there are, as always, doubters with very real concerns regarding the interactivity of Glass and the possibilities for apps. Google is quick to point out that explorers are a beta product. They are not yet a marketable product, and the data and feedback gained from the explorers being out in the real world will aid Google in developing Glass to be better still. Question 18. Can Google Glass be used for gaming apps? Answer. Bloggers are divided on this one. Some say it is the obvious step forward. Others suggest that there is no practical way of gaming with Google Glass. Certainly not with current technology. There simply isn't the level of connectivity and interaction necessary for the more advanced modern games. Programming and game production moves fast though, and there really is no reason to think that by the second or third generation of Google Glass, the capability will be there to interact in a gaming environment with purpose-built apps. The way in which Google Glass works would suggest that it would be great for multiplayer games it is, after all, possible to see on your screen, what someone else sees on theirs. For now though, most of the Glass testers are suggesting that maybe the gamer would be limited to solitaire. Even Pac-Man would be likely to give you headache.
Question 19. What software is Google Glass running? Answer. Glass runs a very modified version of Android 4.0, Google's mobile operating system for smartphones and tablets. Unlike traditional Android, the user interface is all about cards which you can select and interact with, primarily by scrolling through them to the left or right. Question 20. Can you really take pictures and video of people without them noticing? Answer. Totally. There is a button that lets you snap a quick photo with glass. From my experience, no one ever notices the gesture or hears the noise, which is louder in your ear than for anyone around you. People can see the glass display light up, but that's the best warning they're going to get. You can also say OK glass, take a picture, which is a little more obvious. 